Hello again. Today's video is about how to fix double Linux shown in the UEFI boot menu. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the reason why you can see multiple entries in the UEFI startup selection, but I found a solution that works, and I experimented with it enough to make sure it's safe to use so I'll show you. I show you the solution to the problem on the Fedora 40 workstation, but I also tested it on Debian 12, from which I will show you the captures at the end of the video. The steps are exactly the same, so if you are using Debian, Ubuntu, or any other Linux operating system, it doesn't matter at all. Now open terminal and type fe boot mgr, then press enter. This command will display in the terminal are the entries that are present in your UEFI and their number. Here you can see which is the record you booted the system from. In my case I have four records. One for Windows which is first and has the number 0. The second is by Fedora and is numbered 1. The third one is on my hard drive and I guess it's some leftover file from the many reinstalls and it's not important. And the fourth one is Fedora again, which is number 7. The difference between the two Fedora entries is that they are loaded from different files located in EFI. What I found on the internet is that Shim is actually a pre-boot program that is signed by Microsoft to allow you to boot Linux in Secure Boot. Shim 64 is the 64-bit Secure Boot UEFI version of 64-bit. Shim.fe on the other hand should be a simple copy so Shim.fe and Shim 64.fe are actually the same file, so it doesn't matter. Just use one of them and ignore or delete the other. You might ask who I should delete? I will tell you that you cannot go wrong. The condition is that you do not delete the one from which the system was booted because it will be restored and you will get two identical boot records again. For example, if I now delete the boot 0007 entry, it will do nothing and will reappear after the reboot. So you have to boot the system from the record you want to keep and then delete the second one with the following command. My system is booted from the boot 7 entry, so I will delete boot 1. Note that sometimes it can also be a letter. Write the command you see and the number of the record you want to delete, in my case it is number 1. Once you are done press enter and the entry will be deleted. Everything is done and you can reboot your operating system. After the reboot, you will have only one entry on your Linux. As I said on Debian 12 the steps are exactly the same and what struck me is that the entries are displayed more clearly as you can see from these video frames. You may also need to install Ephiboot MGR from your package manager which you can do with the command shown. I hope I was helpful with this video so don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel so we can be together again next time. Have a nice day and take care.